for the next 30 days, I'll be working out in the forest. Growing up, I loved watching Tarzan and always admired how ripped he was. But I often wondered, is it actually possible to get that fit in the forest? Could I transform my body in the forest? There's only one way to find out. Day one. Okay, that's not happening. I'll try again on day 30. 30 days of working out in the forest. That was the challenge. Nothing man-made, just mother nature. Going in, I was expecting there'd be a bunch of things laid out for me to exercise with, but I was quickly proven wrong. It was chaos. If I wanted to make this work, I had to get creative. I needed to build my own literal jungle gym. I discovered logs acted well as weights, similar to barbells. Rocks also came in handy. They're heavy and dense, perfect for building muscle. Now, not everything came comfortable to hold, so I had to channel my inner primitive caveman and craft them to be usable. During my previous 30-day workout challenge at the playground, it was easy to do pull-ups and chin-ups, but in the forest, they're not so simple. Although there are a lot of branches, most of them aren't flat and stable, making them a bit awkward. It was when I began combining things together, when I started to believe my crazy video idea could actually work. I was creating my own gym equipment and unlocking new exercises. My vision was becoming reality. Did you hear that? Hello? So behind me are deer. It's not a bear, thankfully. I didn't want to die today. I just have a feeling though that later in this challenge, we may run into one. Hopefully not. As you saw with animals, forests are much more than just rocks and trees. Today, I'm at the lake and it's time to get in some cardio. Let's go for a swim. Today, the goal is to swim across to the other side of the lake. I used to swim a lot as a kid, so I was pretty confident going in. But the further I swam out, I realized it was going to be much harder than I thought. Halfway in, I started to struggle. The water was cold and I began to run out of breath. At this point, if I started drowning, no one would have been able to save me. I had made a deadly mistake. So the drone crashed into a tree and fell underwater. I had to go diving to rescue it. I think it's toast, but just another day in the life as a YouTuber. <laughs> I failed to swim across the lake and my drone drowned. It was defeating, but I knew this was nature's way of testing me. I had to keep pushing. Around two weeks in, I started to get a hang of the forest. I became familiar with its smell, its touch, its possibilities. The forest was not a forest to me anymore. It was my gym, a real gym, just with different shapes and sounds. No more was I fooling around. I was becoming stronger, making progress. I was truly working out in the forest. Now, before I risk my life climbing a tree, holy crap, I wanna first tell you about my diet throughout this challenge. To fit with the green theme, I've been eating a lot of salads and smoothies. I've also been drinking protein shakes, specifically Essential Protein 18 Plus from Ritual. Each shake contains 20 grams of vegan pea protein that is soy-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and formulated with non-GMO ingredients that are fully traceable. If Tarzan drank protein, this would be the one. It contains all nine essential amino acids, which helps build lean muscle mass and support bone health. The vanilla flavor tastes great with no added sugar and it keeps me feeling full. I'm happy to say that Ritual is actually today's video sponsor and its essential protein is available in daily formulas for those 18 plus, 50 plus, and for pregnancy and postpartum. If you're looking to incorporate a new healthy habit into your routine, check out Ritual and get 20% off your first month by visiting ritual.com 20 Jensen and using the code 20 Jensen at checkout. Link is in the description. Today, we're climbing a tree. 
Climbing a tree is a great full body workout, but it's extremely dangerous. A few branches up and I already started questioning myself. No lie, if I fell, I would likely die on impact. This was going to be one big mistake. I'm 10 feet up. Twenty feet. Thirty feet. Forty feet. Fifty feet. I started this challenge with a lot of fear and anxiety about my body transformation goal, about the possibility of failing. But standing at the top of this tree, all of it drifted away. From this point forward, I wasn't afraid of anything. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. There were still a few things that I was afraid of. When I said I had a feeling we'd run into a bear, I wasn't kidding. As you can tell, the forest is a strange place. The more you explore it, the odder it gets. Do you see that over there? What is that? Oh my god. So it seems like someone has been here before and are building a fort. And I think that's a zip line. That's crazy. This was my chance to swing like Tarzan and become the king of the forest. Oh. <laughs> I'm a bit stuck. <laughs> as fun as the forest can be at times, most of the time, it's a complete pain. The truth is, nature doesn't care about your workout. It will send clouds to rain on you, make you miserable. And even when it is nice out, it'll play with you with its tricks like sap. My fingers are literally glued together. It's dirty, it's uncomfortable. It's as if force knows you're there and doesn't want you to be there. It will bruise you, cut you, scar you, and put you near death. But the worst part of it all are the bugs. They will bite you until you bleed dry. What will start as one bite will become two, will become 20. They are relentless. Almost every day, I contemplated on quitting. I wasn't in control. And by the third week, I couldn't take it anymore. When I started this challenge, I saw the forest as an escape from the man-made world, a way to be like Tarzan and be trained by nature. But as time went on, I changed. I started treating the forest like the man-made world, trying to turn it into a gym. I lost touch with what made the forest so special in the first place its ability to surrender you. At the gym, it's all about control. Controlling your weights, your looks, your comfort. But in the forest, there are no measurements, no mirrors, no pads. It's this lack of control that not only strengthens your body, but your character and tolerance. These are the true gains of the forest. As the challenge came to a close, I decided to try what started it all one last time. This is 30 days of working out in the forest. So to answer the question, can you actually transform your body by working out in the forest? It's a yes for me. This is the before and after comparison. No lighting tricks here. This is the real deal. While I'm far from being Tarzan, I'd say it's a pretty good start. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other fitness video on the screen and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.